Hello, this is Nick G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Since last time I made my way back to the Southeast River on Asanya, let's see where this takes us here. Something else I also did last time was, I, or since last time, I gave the Golden Boots to Piers to get his agility high enough, because there is an enemy in the next dungeon, or, well, the next couple dungeons, actually, that are weak to Jupiter, but they're really, really fast. And they can put you to sleep if you don't kill them quickly enough. So I want that to help him out a little bit there. But all right, let's check out the village of, I think it's pronounced Yalem or Yalem, whatever. Let's see. Okay, so around here, use our cyclone. Ha ha! I don't know how you hide something that big in the grass, but okay. Nuts. What kind of songs? Hmm, let's check it out. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Doesn't really seem like a private space. It's kind of wide open here, but okay. Oh. Well, I guess... Yeah, get you some exercise or something. Hey, how's it going? Sure, why not? Now, this is actually kind of important. You don't need to hear the songs, but this is how you're supposed to figure out something. Coming up here. This is... Well, I'll just tell you. The way... This is supposed to teach you how you're supposed to get through the Sea of Time. And what they're doing is the tree stumps are like representative of some of the volcanoes where if you go around them in circles, I think you need to do it like two or three times or whatever the song says. And when you do that, some of the currents in the Sea of Time will uh, stop or just disappear temporarily that'll allow you to have enough time with your boat to get past them get to the next volcano and so on and so forth and the guy named yep who i guess went there at some point in time well figured out how it all works and wrote songs about them without telling anyone that they apply to that but I suppose this is how you're supposed to know how to get through there. But even if you do do all this and get to the end of the place, you can't get past it because there's the Poseidon that everyone was talking about. And you can't beat him without the trident there. He's invincible as far as I know. But yeah, I just figured I'd show you how you're supposed to know how to get through the Sea of Time. Hmm. For some reason, I thought there were only two songs, not three. Hmm. Must have been thinking of something else, but... Okay. Well, let's see what's going on here. Oh, well, yeah, you're kind of isolated here. Um, not much. Just end-of-the-world type things. You'll be fine. Oh, I wonder how we brought you guys some work. Hmm. Oh, really? I don't believe you. Nuts. Well, isn't there, like, the shores up to the north there? I mean, you, you got something. But we might as well rob them blind anyway. Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe some people in the village want to... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, go on a little vacation or something. I don't know. How are we doing here? Yeah, we don't need to rest up at the end. But I do need to get some more hidden treasure. Nuts. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. You're not going to be going out there anyway. What kind of services? Don't answer that, viewers. Really? How do you figure that? Everyone has a roof over their head. 
And it doesn't look like there's anyone who's rich around here. Yeah, I don't know where he's getting out like that. I mean, Champa, I could understand. People gotta, you know, live on the boats or something. They don't have enough land or something. They lost their fishing. Their, yeah, whatever they did to make a living fishing. But like here, okay, the swamp is going a little dry. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's those songs probably aren't important. Man, everyone seems to love that guy around here, huh? Oh, nuts. Well, at least you're not by Al Hafra in the desert. Holy cow! Now that was dry. But yeah, I mean, you got green grass growing around everywhere. I, I don't know what's going on with these guys. Oh, I wonder where he found this. Hmm. Hidden treasures. Is sunshine... Lip, you mean like the sun or a person? You're not going to tell us, are you? Oh, okay, you are. Okay, never mind. Hmm, well, maybe I should pay him a visit see what weapon he has. Or weapons he has to sell. Nuts. How good could he possibly be? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Ah, oh, okay, never mind then. Well, you still got some, don't you? And one thing I want to do is I do need to sell some equipment. I need 18,500 in order to get everything that I want. So I'm going to get new weapons for uh, Jenna and Felix there. And let's see. Yeah, I don't need any of those items. What does that even do? Ice damage? I don't really care for those kind of items. Let's see, I do have a Water of Life. Yep, well, no, that won't get me quite close enough. Well, let's see how we're doing. I, I probably got other stuff that I could sell. Mm, let's see, you need a thousand more, so... Mm, maybe sell some of the healing items that I got. What do we got with the nuts there? Yeah, we got plenty of those. So let's see, if I go like that, that should do. Okay, I think we're good there. That should be just barely enough to do everything that I want. Oh, sure, why not? Sounds like a plan. I do want to go to that swamp, by the way. There's uh, some good stuff we can get there. Hmm, there's a treasure down there, but I can't quite reach it. Hmm, this looks like something from the first game. Remember that for later, viewers. If only there were an item that would let me knock down that tree with brute force. But sadly, we don't have that item. That's... Oh, by the way, uh, Wayard, that's the name of the whole world here. I don't think they ever said the name of the world in the first game. They might have. It might it might have just been like one line of dialogue or something, but I don't think they ever mentioned that. Not that it really matters. Okay, so what I came here for was to talk to Sunshine to help, well, make some new equipment for us. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. There's uh, rusty weapons. And those will always turn out to be the same thing, depending on wherever you got it. And that will... Let's see, that's a mace. And that'll become the Hagbone Mace, which is really, really good at this point in the game. So he'll go around and forge it. And... Well, hurry up! How long is this going to take? Ah, nuts. 
I suppose they intend for you to go off and then come back later after doing something, but there's an easy way to just get him to finish the what finish the forging or reforging of the weapon. Just go into the sanctum there, come out, boom, he'll have it ready for you. Hooray! And let's see, how much money do I got? Okay, 18.5. And they don't tell you what the price is, but it'll just be taken out of your money anyway. So there's a Hagbone Mace. And let's see, that one. Okay, yeah, that was like 8,400, I think. Oh, and there's another weapon that I want to drop off to him. And where did I put that? There it is. And that one's going to cost, I think, 10100 So I'll barely have enough money to get all that stuff. Let's see, what else was there? Oh, yeah! There's a whole bunch of other materials that you could give him to create totally new weapons. Like, I think there's, like, Dark Matter or something. Uh, there was that Tear Stone that we found earlier. There's a whole bunch of items that can do that. But the problem is, well, just like he said, he doesn't know what he's going to make until it's done, practically, or until he gets going. So it's going to be a random piece of equipment, depending on the material. So I don't like going for random equipment, so I'm just going to go for the guaranteed pieces of equipment. And yeah, the blower staff, that is really, really powerful at this point, too. So yeah, if you want to try your luck with all that random equipment, hey, go nuts. I heard there's, I forget what it was, it was some item that you could use to cast, what was it, I think it was the Wishwell spell, or something really powerful like that. But I heard there was like, maybe a bug or something with the item that lets you use it infinitely, instead of like, breaking, like, most items that you use as an item to cast a spell, but yeah, I wouldn't even bother myself. You don't need it. But all right, so we got the shoreline there, but it's surrounded by all those reefs there. So yeah, we're gonna have to walk where we're going now. Where we're going, we need roads. And yeah, right now we're just heading over to the uh, Taupo Swamp. However you want to pronounce it. Ta Opo? I don't know. Okay, let's see. We got both of these guys. They are weak to fire. So let's take advantage of that. Let's see. With the mad vermin there. Anything special? No! And what was the other guy? The... Oh, I'm surprised you could one-shot that guy. Okay, never mind. Well, the dire wolf there. Yeah, there's not much special about them either. Let's see, what level did we just get up to? Oh, if I'm not mistaken. Ha-ha! Yeah, we get high impact. Just like the first game, though, you want to be careful using that because the reg regular impact spell boosts a single character's attack stat up to 25%, or up to a maximum of 50, but 25 per cast, while the high impact hits your entire party, but it only boosts it by 12.5%. So you want to keep an eye on that, depending on how you're going to do stuff for battle. But one thing with Kindle, and also Forge from the first game, is that they, the Jin boost everyone's attack by 25%. So you get the best of both worlds there. But usually I like to hold on to Kindle for like job classes right now, later on in the game. Not so much. Well, fortunately, it's a straight shot to wherever we need to go. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Oh, no, I, d I think, uh... I think Felix can take care of himself there, Shiva. Don't worry about it. But alright, easy enough. Okay, let's take a look around to Apple Swamp. Let's see, if you go down there, haha, there's a treasure, but we can't reach that from here. So, one one thing at a time. Okay, let's go with move. And we gotta pull this one for some reason. 
and let's head up first. You can kind of tell by the bush that I'm standing in front of there that, well, there's something behind it. The other two, I don't think there's anything behind them. So I'm not even going to bother with those. I mean, I know there's no treasure back there. I don't think there's any rooms or anything. What do we got here? Hmm. If only there were an item that would let me dig that up. There is! Now, that's one of the items that you could give the sunshine to forge into new equipment. But I'm not going to do that, but we could sell it at least. Now, here in the swamp, we got these little bubbles here. But if you try to go through the swamp like that, you'll sink and you'll respawn wherever you entered into there. So what you need to do is, yeah, move around to from bubble to bubble or whatever until you can get to wherever you want to go. Whoa, almost lost that one. Whew, that was close. Too close! And hey, hey, all right, more. I think that boosts my synergy. Yeah, let's give that to Felix there. But yeah, you could tell what a material is for forging by it says forgeable there. So just something to keep in mind. And by the way, you, I would not recommend forging a piece of equipment and then selling it because the price that it costs to forge equipment is always going to be greater than what you could get out of selling it. So, yeah, just sell the base material if you're not going to do anything with that. Or use the equipment that you're going to get out of it. Aha! Okay, let's see. I don't need to go up top yet, I don't think. Hmm. Well, first things first, let's go... Get this out of the way. I think that upper path takes you to the end of the place. But I don't want to go there yet. I want to go over here and get some treasure. Now we got these steam vents here. Whoa! Yeah, if you try to run past them like that, this that's what'll happen. But I wanted to come here, so that way I could get a treasure. So yeah, whenever you're trying to move past those steam vents, you want to go past them one at a time. You're just not going to be able to run past them quickly enough like that. Oh, I almost got stuck there. Okay, let's see. I don't know why they would want us to move this pillar over there, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, hey, little genie. Well, we'll take care of that guy soon enough. Okay, we got a new enemy on the left there, Death Cat. They are also weak to Mars, so let's take advantage of that. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with the other guy yet. Let's see, the Death Cat. Guess what status ailment they can inflict on you? Well, if you say sleep, you'd be right. That's what they can inflict on you. They do not inflict instant death, no. What do you think this is, my side LP? Holy cow! Okay, well first things first, let's go over here. I don't think you can drop down here to get this treasure. Kind of isolated from everything else. Yeah, one thing about this dungeon, there's actually like three parts to it. There's the exterior swamp that we just got through, then the cavern part, and then there's... Well, a different type of cavern that we get through after all this. Well, at least we can get some money for selling the raw materials for the equipment. After I murder someone for getting me into a battle immediately after climbing a flight of stairs. Man, this game really is becoming my side LP. Only that one doesn't let you even see the screen you get to sometimes after you climb a flight of stairs. At least I can see where the encounters are, usually in that game. Careful. Don't want to fall down here. Okay, now the next two are part of the same wind 
tunnel or whatever it is, I don't know. But what we want to do is move that over there, so that way, look at the genie, ha ha! And now, oh, I, oh, that is the one I wanted, okay, uh, never mind, carry on, I meant to do that. I thought I jumped down the wrong one there, because if I did, I would have ended up right there, and then I'd have to climb all the way back up to get where I wanted to go. Okay, let's try this one again. Well, well, this is the first time we're taking on this genie. For mini-boss time! See, this guy has 518 HP, or 590 HP. Looking at the wrong enemy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's just see if I can crowd control the guy. Well, you don't have anything, so just do the best you can. Get impact buffed up on Piers there. You can use the health of the Jupiter Gen. Yeah, they're not so good on the attack multipliers, unfortunately. Okay, so that's... Yeah, a little over... 300, so I think if I get in one more hit and then let. Well, actually, Piers would be gone first, wouldn't he? Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's go with. Well, I need Piers to stay alive, so let's soften the guy up. Actually, can I remove the bits? No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, now I kind of wish I did remove them. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're just going to have to soften the guy up a little bit before Piers can finish it off. I don't think he'd be at, quite be able to deal enough damage. Oh, for a second... Okay, <laughs> for a second there I thought, wait, did you kill the guy? You're not supposed to hear that. Okay, let's try that one again. Ha-ha! Yeah, I think I probably would have been able to kill him with that hit. I didn't think I could quite hit him that hard, but we got him all the same. Oh no, I wouldn't have. I would have been just short of being able to kill the guy. I, I meant to do that, but there we get the one of my favorite gen or genies in the game. The flower genie who restores HP to all party members. It's really good when you are... Well, in a situation where you need that. And, yeah, no new synergy, but it does boost your stats a little bit if you've got a whole bunch of Venus Gen there, so that's pretty nice. But what else is going on here in Taupa Swamp? It doesn't look like it's drying up to me. Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.